Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I've already started by priming my face. I'm using the number 7 mattifying primer. And I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I'm just going to sip with that all over my face. I want to say I am so sorry. I'm chewing gum like a damn cow, but I was so hungry. And usually gum just keeps my hunger down. Uh, moving on to concealer, I'm going to take the Naked Skin Weightless Concealer and I use the color Light Medium and I'm going to go pretty ham with this one. I haven't used it in a hot minute and I just wanted to bust it out. So I'm just going to be placing that in all the places where I want to highlight, which is the chin, my cupid's bow, on my forehead and pretty much down the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to... Um, blend everything out seamlessly and then we can just go ahead and move on to the next step. Now I'm going to go in with my Airspun Loose Powder and I'm going to take this big fluffy brush. I believe this is an e.l.f. I don't remember the name of it but I will have it linked down below. I wanted to try something new. I do like to use this powder with a beauty blender. It's preferred. Now I'm going to move on to bronzing and I'm going to use the Sunny Bronzer and I'm going to take this angled brush. I don't know the name but I got it at Walgreens, it's like the Walgreens brand and again I will have it linked for you guys. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to be pretty much just chiseling out my cheekbones. I did want to go for a pretty intense contour today since I was doing glam all over. And I also like to take that to my forehead just so everything is nice and balanced. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dust off the products that I have so we can have a really clean canvas. I love baking the face because it just keeps me matte all day. Now I'm going to take this blush by Milani and with that same brush I'm just going to be applying it to the apples of my cheeks. I did go a little intense but I will be fixing that in just one second. With a stippling brush, I'm just going over that blush just to tone it down a bit, just so it's not so harsh and it's not so, like, in your face. So now I'm going to go in with this highlight. This is the TLS Goldie Highlight, and as you can see, this stuff is intense. This was the first time I tried it, and I was blown away by the intensity of this pigment. It is a loose pigment, but look how gorgeous it is. It is the perfect gold highlight it's perfect for us girls that have tan skin i also apply that to my cupid's bowl and my chin and as you can see my face is done so now we're going to move on to eyes i'm going to start with the smashbox 24 hour primer this is perfect for oily lids and then i'm going to go in with my nyx base and as always this is from the color skin tone as you can see i've had pan because i love this so much now I'm going to take Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm going to be applying this to the upper crease and I'm just going to blend it softly starting at the outer corners and then bringing it in to the inner corner. Now I'm going to go in with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is Chickadee and it is the most prettiest like a burnt orange yellow color. I really just wanted to incorporate some orangey-ness to the color because I just thought it looked really nice. So I went ahead and applied that pretty much on top of that. Now I'm going to take another TLS um, eyeshadow and this is, this is another loose pigment. It is so pretty. This is in the color Impress and as you can see a little bit of this goes a long way. And I just used a flat brush to apply it all over the lid. I do go back a few times to just intensify the color. Just dip your brush as many times as you need to just get the most color payoff as possible. I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together with a brush brush and this is no brand name um, I believe I ordered this brush off of eBay now 
And I'm going to go back to that orange shade, which was Chickadee. I did not apply any additional products. I just used what, what I just used whatever was on my brush and I just blended out the colors a little bit more. Now I'm going to go into this gorgeous pigment. This is a dupe for Max Rose Gold pigment and I applied a little bit of um, kind of like a setting spray and I'm dabbing that on the center of my lids pretty much on the bottom of my lids this is just going to create a really nice sparkly effect I'm going to go back to that same color that we used on the crease and on the lid and I will just be applying that to the lower lash line just so I can smoke it out a bit but without being too intense. I'm going to take a little blending brush and I'm going to blend that color just so we don't have a streak of, you know, of eyeshadow just there so make sure to blend it out. And I'm going to go back to that first pigment. I think it's called Tickle Me, Tickle Me Something. I will have it down below. I promise I will leave everything linked. And I'm going to apply that pretty much to the inner corners of the eyes. I did apply some lashes and I skipped the liner. So I'm going to move on to lips. This is by ColourPop. It's their Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick and Tool. I just thought everything looks so nice together. And all the mauve colors just blended out super nicely. So after you've applied your lipstick, you are all done with this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey!